Hey, 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 you guys. I am back with another video. I am LaTersa, and on this channel, we talk a lot about entrepreneurship, self-care hygiene, and um, motivation. So today, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can turn your closet, a spare closet, into your home office. Um, for those of you that are looking to start your business this year, if you are tight on space, today's video is going to help you get creative. And today, I'm going to be showing you what I did to turn my closet into my workspace. So if that's something that interests you, keep on watching. This is what it's looking like before the transition. So yeah, that's what we're working with. So yeah, that is my little transformation and I'm going to show you the before and after. I think I've already did that, but wanted to show you guys the before and after of just, you know, try to be creative. Y'all know I'm a crafty person. So I had this ideal at like one o'clock this morning. So I got up and I've been cleaning and moving stuff and, and your girl is tired now. <laughs> so I'm going to relax for the rest of the evening, but leave me a comment below and let me know how you plan to, um, um, turn your closet into your office space. But I will warn you, that closet gets hot. So I'm probably going to get me a little desk fan to cool me off because I can't stand to be hot. But it helps me to separate the two, keep my bedroom, my safe haven, and just keep my office separate. I can close that door and just let it be, you guys. So I hope today's video helped you guys. This is, of course, Self Care Sunday. And a part of self care is making sure you have a designated space for your safe haven. And mine is my bedroom. I'm tired of looking at my office space inside of my bedroom. So I fixed that today. So leave me your thoughts below and let me know how you like this video. Talk to you soon. And make sure you hit that subscribe button, you guys. Make sure you're not just watching. I would love to have you a part of my growing family. So let me know your thoughts below and um, I'll see you on the next video. All right, you guys, so this is the final results. If you have a spare closet or like me, you push your clothes to the side and make your own home office in your closet. I initially had my desk and stuff in my bedroom, but got tired of that because I want to separate the difference between work and relaxation. So this is my finished results, you guys. For the time being, I think this turned out really well. Um, yeah, so yeah, this is my finished results. This is my new workspace. So I think that this is going to work out just fine. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. Let me know what you decide to do. But like I said, um, the drawer, the desk is an Alex drawer desk from Ikea. And I'll leave the link below um, for you guys. Uh, my calendar. I think I got that from Target. Um, it's just really spacious for me. It works for me. Um, so yeah, this is what you um, can do if you have a spare closet in your room or in your house and you want to kind of make sure that you separate the two like I did. This is a good way to do so. All right, so yeah, this was my closet in my bedroom and I just got really tired, you guys, of working, looking at my work every time I get off. It was hard for me to focus, hard for me to relax because in my bedroom, I want that to be a space where I can just relax and not think about work. So my brilliant idea was turn my closet into my home office. So that is what I did. So yeah, those are my shoes, my purses that I was a gift that my daughter drew me for my birthday. And of course I painted that one, the black girl magic myself. But this is, I put most of my clothes and I downsized cause I gave a lot of clothes to Goodwill. I had like a bag full of clothes. Um, then I got some extra space over in here. I got my luggage in that corner, just a little knickknacks there, some, you know, some shoes, sandals or whatever, just for the time being. And under your desk, if you need more storage space, you can get a little small bin to put right there and then put your chair there. Like I said, I got this Alex drawer for about two, about $300 from Ikea. 
and the, like I said, I didn't put the middle thing there that goes like right here because I know that when I um, like to move and move my my space around, I don't want to have to worry about um, having to unscrew that middle thing. And then too, when, whenever you move, it's easy for you to just lift this disc area up. You can lift that up. And it'll be easier. And that's the picture of me and my babies. And my calendar, I got that from Target. Um, I got my little cute little sands. I can't, I will. Boss lady. Got my workstation set up. So, yeah, this is pretty much what I did, you guys, to turn my space into a workable office space. Because, like I said, I want my bedroom to be my safe haven where I can relax, not be thinking about work all the time. So leave me a comment in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you're thinking about doing this for your own home office. But like I said, it's very simple and easy, you guys. And yeah, I wanted to do something to help you guys turn because a lot of you reached out to me and you want to start your business this year. If you're tight on space, this is a easy way for you guys to um, get going. So yeah, let me know what you think in the comment section.